actually four creative projects plus the launch of a, of a website um, and a video that is all happening today as part of the Sharing the Waiwa Kaiho process. The aim was to be engaging with, with local communities and tangata whenua across the disciplines of the university, so across science, into geology, into social geography, um, but always maintaining this connection um, with tangata whenua. Some of the biggest problems facing New Zealand and globally, I, I guess, um, as well, are very complex pr problems that will not be solved by one sector or one discipline, one academic or, or community or scientist by themselves. They realise that they're going to have to have multidisciplinary approaches, involve community, um, levels of engagement that we possibly, as scientists, haven't attempted before. And so the Living Lab, I guess, is, ex is taking that idea that we have to work across boundaries to, yeah, to, in order to co-create new knowledge, which is what is going to be ultimately solve some of our biggest issues. What I was interested to become a kind of creative take on a, on a, a, a holding of other people's perspectives, essentially. I started working with that very simple analogy, river mouth, body mouth. Because this is, it's taking what's ancient and how, and how it can continue to resonate with the 21st century people. So, you know, for young people to walk past to are from here and see that, it's a powerful affirmation. If you were asked to ask me what did I think, how did I think it would end up, I would have said I, I don't know. Um, and now, if you ask me how I feel, and how it's turned out, I would say, wow, that's pretty cool.